An attorney for former President Donald Trump wants Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis and her entire office disqualified from the election interference case. The motion argues Willis wrongly injected racial bias into the case during a speech over MLK weekend. That speech came after Willis was accused of wrongfully hiring a special prosecutor who she was also allegedly dating. Well, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says the motion claims Willis tainted the potential jury pool. Randy? That's right, Russ and Courtney. Willis gave that 35-minute speech over the MLK weekend to lash out at critics she claimed were racist for raising questions about a black attorney she said was a legal superstar. Well, now those words are part of a motion that, if successful, could end the case before it ever goes to trial. Her speech was fiery and controversial. Why is the white male Republicans' judgment good enough, but the black female Democrats not? But what Fonnie Willis said in response to attacks that she hired a less qualified attorney because of an alleged romantic relationship are now being used against her. In a motion filed Thursday afternoon, Trump attorney Steve Sadow and Jennifer Little asked that Willis be disqualified from the case, along with her office and any special prosecutor she's hired. They say Willis's MLK speech was racially charged, designed to divert and deflect attention from the alleged affair. The motion says her comments constitute a glaring, flagrant, and calculated effort to foment racial bias into this case by publicly denouncing the defendants for somehow daring to question her decision to hire a black man without also mentioning that she is alleged to have had a workplace affair with the same man to be a special prosecutor. If she gets recused from this case, arguably no other prosecutor in the state will pick it up and you could have a de facto dismissal of this case. Manny Aurora represented Kenneth Chesney one of the four defendants who already took deals in the election interference case. He agrees the jury pool could be compromised. I definitely think it would be tainted because it's not just a regular speech to a church. I mean, everybody knew this was going to get picked up nationally, if not worldwide, uh, as to what's going on because it's such a hot button issue. The DA's office had no comment, and Russ and Courtney, uh, this, this will probably be heard along with the original motion that was filed by Michael Roman, who originally brought up the whole idea about this uh, inappropriate relationship she was having with Nathan Wade. That hearing is set for February 15th. Ms. Willis has until next Friday to offer her side of things in court filings. So we'll be watching that closely. Well, it's only... What we know so far seems like a gift to Donald Trump and the other co-defendants. You have to wonder what it would have been like if she had not made that speech on MLK weekend, if she just limited it to what she was going to put in court filings. Yeah, well, she had a lot to say in that speech. 35 minutes worth. Yeah. All right. Randy, thanks. Okay.